Hello everybody, welcome back to AI War Fleet Command. Thetimix here. And if any of you are new, let me just put a brief reminder in that you should check out the beginner walkthrough first. Link to that is down in the description. The vanilla standard game that we're in the middle of just over three hours in, and I've decided to do a bit of a threat cleaning. Thought about skipping it, but I decided that was probably a little bit foolish given that we're in such a good position otherwise. We had a reprisal rave hit Karen, dealt with that no problem. We've got a couple places where there's a significant threat built up. Doc here and Merapi will want to take the fleet there eventually. We've got to get back there to get over to Mars. Going to go through Quayar. We can't really do a good direct route. But Umbriel is another one. Now there's Pales down here. Doesn't have much. Frozenzen doesn't have enough to bother me. We've got scouts out everywhere that's adjacent to one of our systems. And we have upgraded our turrets, almost all of them. We've got the four main ones and snipers all up to the Mark II level now. You see we're getting a little bit low on energy. Umbriel, again, I thought about leaving it alone, but there's a bit of an issue here. This is going to be a little bit complicated compared to the normal threat cleaning. Now, there used to be over 100 in here. Some of them left, but right by the wormhole of Anth. We've got a laser guard post and a standard AI fortress. Thankfully, it's a standard one. I don't want there to be a bunch of threat built up in here, because if we get large amounts in here, thousands or whatever, and then we have to go to try clean them out with a fortress in the way, that's not going to be a whole lot of fun. So I figure let's just do it now, and I've split up our fleet to do just that. Now, the other thing to look at here in Vanth, is that we have finally have the metal harvesters building. There was three guard posts, and there happened with a couple in Electra as well, but the sniper turrets just didn't want to target. One was a missile guard post, another one was a cloaker, I think an MLRS was the third one. I don't know why it refused to automatically target those, but not the others, so I had to select the sniper turrets and manually tell them to go do it. So, anyway, not that the harvesters are that big of a thing, but we want to be complete in all of our systems. Now what I'm doing here first is sending the bombers in to take out that laser guard post. And bombers are what a laser guard post is good against. But more importantly, they're not going to get ripped to shreds by that fortress. So that's why I'm just biting the bullet on that. Then I'm going to send the rest of my fleet in with the transports while they're busy and engaged. Okay, here we go, and let's uh, take out that. I only want you to target the laser guard post. You can see we've got ships going around all over the place. I'm not sure where they're going to go or what they're going to do. And over here, it looks like that's, that's firing at us already. That's super. So I think I want to just come down this way. Okay, and now they're all coming after us here. So what do you say we get out of here? I want to leave, at least to the extent I can, see if I can get away from the fortress's fire. Oh, look, we've got reprisal to Massalia, we've got a CPA coming, all kinds of fun things. Let's uh, just move along out this way. We did take out the fortress, so I don't really have to worry about anything but going after them. Yeah. You know what, I'm going to call that an acceptable situation.
All right, and through all that, we got our threat down to half of what it was. Whoop, no, 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 don't, don't, don't do any such thing. Let's get back in the transports. Now, we hit Merapi and cleaned out the threat there, and that would have normally given us a level 2 reprisal, but it's a turtle AI, so it gave us nothing. Didn't really care too much about that anyway. There was a fortress in range when we went in there. Didn't time it perfectly, but at the same time, we only lost a few dozen ships. It was not a big deal. And you can see our threat is down now significantly. A warp relay on Frizenzen. Again, I don't care, because... Like, it's right next to our home world. So, what's it going to hit deep into my territory? The warp relays just don't matter as much when we've got the backdoor hacker exogalactic thing going on. So, there's no great amount of threat massing anywhere. We're pretty happy. Now, we've arrived here in Mars. Now, we've got the Mark IV ion cannon over here. So, I only brought in... The Mark V snipers, and then my starships. So I'm going to want to take out that missile guard post for sure, so that there's nothing by this. But that's the only one anywhere on this side that we can just sort of clean up everything else. Although, what is everything else? Well, it's a command station shield guard post. We've got to take that out first anyway, and then just a needler. I mean, that's like nothing. Forget the guerrilla tactics. We're going to just slide over here. Let's just unload by the... Or actually... Yeah, I'm going to slide over here and unload by the Special Forces Guard Post. Okay. And now we've got our snipers in place doing their things. And yeah, the Ion Cannon is going to shoot. But it shouldn't be able to take out much of anything. Maybe it can take out... Uh, my engineers, I'm not sure. I don't think he can take out the transport. Throw those back in. Okay, so I, what I want to do is get the transport out of the way. There we go. And it's damaging some other stuff, but so what? What I'd like to do here is just gradually work my way through. And since we don't have a huge amount of numbers, I think we want to move all as one. And let's go for the command station shield. Yeah, okay, let's get you in there. And yeah, let's definitely set the snipers out here. I keep making that mistake, setting the snipers with. We're sending the starships after this other stuff. There we go. Okay, now where are we going next? I think we definitely want to hit uh, the Needler. Whoa. Too many ships. Alright. We don't have much time to fix that. Is it because of the snipers? We've only got six. Alright, I'm going to scrap my snipers. Which I'd rather not do, but... Gonna bite the bullet and do it anyway. Then let's send the Mark I Raiders. Send them out to uh, out to Typhon. I don't know if putting them in the transport counts. Yeah, level three reprisals. So what? Okay, now we're back in business. 
There we go. Now let's go after Missile Guard Post. Slide the transport across. And of course we're going to get all of those other things rebuilt. So let's see. Let's see where we're at here. If I send these back in. Yeah, it's still fine with that. And I just want to hit this right now. Because I think the raid starships can take this out. Okay, maybe I was wrong. Okay. And yeah, that's firing over here. Now, obviously the mistake I made is not taking out the command station first. Yep. There goes my engineers, which is not the end of the world. But that was going to happen anyway, unless I didn't use them to help build the command station. So this is out of the picture. Let's get our economic command station up. I want it to be right by this fabricator. Let's take out the core shield generator while we're at it. Now this has gone far from perfectly. Some unneeded casualties, but the bottom line is that we are succeeding. Oh, look what we have here. Let's go say hello. And there's another core shield generator gone. We're just waiting on this to build at this point. So we've got uh, some new visitors coming in, that's for sure, and as we capture the enemy ships, they're getting insta-killed by the... Oh, hello. There's a whole bunch of riot control ships coming through. But they're deciding not to attack us. Okay. Hmm. A thousand missile frigates coming to Quayar. That'll be fun. Lovely little reprisal for our activities here. Took out a couple of those starships coming in. Okay. Well, let's just pause here for a moment. This is still building. Let's get our defensive fleet over to Quayar to handle whatever is going on. It'll be interesting to see what happens with that size of a wave. Because a thousand ships is a little more than we've planned for. Assuming that it heads straight for our command station. Um, let's see, yeah, we. I'm just going to put up some more tractor beam turrets. And I probably won't keep them all up. But I'm just going to keep enough to potentially deal with that threat. There we go. We've still got some sh the main fleet here that was just left over. Didn't head to Mars. That happens to be in the same system. So let's uh, have them join the party. 
All of that should work just fine. It's going to be quite a battle, but I'm not worried about us winning it. Oh, look. More coming through. Threat is up to 530, and a whole bunch of it is in Typhon. Let's check that out. Okay, right here nearby. Yeah. All right, they're massing here. Oh, look, they've got a nice, lovely carrier. So we're going to want to deal with that, but first things first. Let's defend Mars. Is this headed to Mars? No, not really. It doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's deal with getting up and running here first. That appears to be where that CPA ended up. So we're counting down 10 seconds until the reprisal wave hits Quayar. Definitely our biggest fight of this game so far. Boom, they head straight for us. A bunch of minefields go boom. Hello. And yeah, they're tearing through our auto cannons. And now they're trying to escape to Cato and Nemoida. Good luck with that. So we lost a pretty good amount of our fleet in that effort. But uh, yeah, that's a nice little bit of work. And you can see 1.2 million <laughs> orbiting scrap in Quayar. We're gathering another 700 a second. That's not a not small amount of our overall metal income coming from here. So we've taken about a 10 minute operational pause here again. We've got turrets up on Mars. But I also had to do some rebuilding of the fleet. We're up now to 25 Mark II Engineer Drones in Hoth to speed things up, and we got down all the way under 900k metal at one point. But now, you can see we're boosting it back up. Most of the salvage has been done, but we're still gathering some from Quayar and from Mars raid that hit there. And the fleet's totally rebuilt, including our new Mark V bombers. So now I want to deal with the threat left over from that CPA. And some of it stayed in Typhon. It looked like it all was going to stay there for a while. But then it moved over here to Papagena. The carrier deployed and it decided that's where it was going to go. Which is just fine with me. It's actually easier for me to deal with it there. Because over here, there's a nuclear eye. So I've sent basically starships plus some Mark V bombers, elite type ships, if you will, into Typhon. And they're about to arrive. Yeah, and let's uh, let's go over this way, shall we? There's a Mark I ion cannon, which is not going to do a whole lot. Set in the Mark II parasites, because I wanted to take out what I could here. Okay, now all of you go back. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the... So the nuclear eye went active briefly. Reprisal level 1, no big deal. So from here, obviously, I'm just going to want to repair and then move on. I'm going to want to send the bulk of the fleet into Papagena. Then we'll, then we'll want to come back. Here we are in Papagena, ready to have some fun. Let's just have at it. Pull the snipers back. Everybody else, do your thing. Where are we being attacked? In Hoth. Let's take a quick look at that. 
Okay, bomber starship and a few stragglers. That's going to be nothing. Going to be nothing at all. There we go. I think it's time for us to load up and get out of here as well. So after a brief stop stopover in Hoth to repair, some transports onto Mars, and now it's time to hit Ariona, which is just in range. One, two, three. So the transports can be pretty bad shape by the time they get there, if they survive the journey at all. So after having a stopover in Hoth to heal, bring in new ships, we've moved on to Mars, and now it's time to go to Adiona, which is three jumps out of supply. Got to go through a Mark IV plan of Venus to get there, and then once we do get there, there's a variety of stuff, including a Mark II ion cannon. So I left everything Mark II and below behind, naturally. We've also mostly maxed out our metal for the first time in the game. Right now it's not about economics anymore, it's simply about taking the territory we need. And we head through planet Lofi. Onto Venus. And you can see our transport's getting shot up pretty good. Try to get them out of here before they get destroyed completely. Oh, nope, that didn't work. Okay, stop. Unload. And we got minefields. Get the transports out. And I want everything to engage everything. Just get rid of... Okay, let's definitely get that spider guardian. Already a level 2 reprisal. Out freaking standing. All right, now I think we're ready to just try to get everybody out. Get everybody out of range and see where we are. No, snipers, go. I will eventually stop doing that sometime. At least they're clearing out these sort of lesser ships. And aside from the ones that have engine issues, seem to be doing okay. Obviously, there's the advanced research station. And why do I not have a scout here? So that was, that was definitely a mistake. Okay, get these out. And I don't think it's still here. Nope, we'll need to bring another colony ship in. But first things first. Oh yeah, all kinds of riot control. All kinds of them. Okay, that... That reprisal of Tethys doesn't worry me too much. There we go. Clearing it out. Yep, more coming. So now we're starting to see, because we haven't attacked any key systems in a little bit. Looks like they've built up some in their special forces. Now obviously we're taking a Mark IV planet, a Mark IV planet with an ARS. So they're pretty ticked off about it. Alright, let me look around a bit. We've got the ion cannon. Might as well capture that. Advanced Research Station, Mark IV Needler, Spire Shield, neither one of those are a big deal, Missile Guard Post, and a Laser. So several different kinds. I don't have a lot of ships that are vulnerable to the Needler. I kind of just want to go that way. Well, not many of them will be because we don't have, probably just, we don't have a lot of ships that are vulnerable. So it won't get much of that. Okay. So there's Needler. Yeah, let's go after the Spire Shield next. Uh, didn't you already do that? Why would you build another one in the same place? Whatever.
All right, now I want to try just sending those auto cannons in after the missile guard post and then the laser. Since they're not particularly vulnerable to it. There's another standard wave coming, but again, I don't really care about any of those. Should be able to fight them off without too much of a problem. Yep, lost some of those, but not many. And let's say goodbye to the command station. There it is. So the A-Prime core shield generator is down. We've got our turrets up in place here in Adiona. We've got the Vorticular Cutlass from the Advanced Research Station. That's that fast melee ship that we ran into earlier. We're building those, only Mark 1s. They'll help with Defense of the Homeworld, though, and Dimos. We actually don't quite have everything up yet. The Energy Collector will be up soon. That'll help our energy. But it's time to leave. Now, from here, there's really nowhere we want to particularly get to from here, except I'd like to hit the Data Center in Heap. It's the last thing, really, to do over here. It's a little bit far from this one, so we're probably going to be looking at some sort of deep striking penalty, but the idea is to get in, get out, and not deal with that for very long. We'll see what kind of threat and reprisal and all that fun stuff awaits us after that. But then we just need to gather the fleet, work our way back around to Hoth, because this is going to be our base of operations for striking at this group right here. This really is the big, the only really big thing remaining. And they'll be coming up in the next update, hitting those three Mark IV planets, getting a couple more ship types, hopefully. Until then, thanks for watching. More AI War Fleet Command coming up.